mini Tess. Sorry for, again, two weeks in a row having a bit of a belated floss tube. It's been a weekend. Um, I can go into that a little bit later, but better late than never. I am going to start off by giving you my utmost thanks. I've made it to 100 subscribers, guys. As of recording, I'm at 107. So we're going to do the giveaway. It's not complete yet, as I would have liked. You guys just came in a lot faster than I was expecting, and I had issues with the font I originally used. So, house and tree. I'm pretty sure it was, I don't know if the tree was finished last time, but that's there. And then on either side, there is going to be a quote. You can see, nope, this side. I have started again in the new font. It is going to say, a house is made of bricks and beams, a home is made of hopes and dreams. So this is what you win, the pattern. If you want me to throw this in as well, sure. I have made a few mistakes, so it's, you don't want me to throw it in, but still not loving the linen. I think that's also slowed me down, um, counting across on linen. It's just terrific. I probably should have gridded it, but I'm kind of making up the placing as I go along because it was hard for me to visualize in Excel. But yes, so working on the quotes this week, uh, but because I have made 100, I'm going to open the giveaway. It will run for two weeks because if anyone is anything like me, you're a bit behind on Floss Tube subscriptions. So it will close the 21st of April at midday Australian Eastern Standard Time. I'm not sure, obviously, I'll try and see if there's like a website I can link that you can click on and it'll tell you your time. But yes, yeah, so entries will close 21st of April, 12, like midday Australian Eastern Standard Time. And to enter, obviously, standard rules, don't say giveaway, please be a subscriber, uh, be 18 and over or have parental permission to give me your address if you win. And what I would like you to enter with, uh, because when you turn 100, the Queen will send you a birthday letter, I would like to know, when you turn 100, who would you like to send you the birthday letter, living or dead. So you can choose someone who's passed on, you could choose someone currently. Who would you like to receive a letter from for your 100th birthday? So that's going to get all entries will be coming from this video. So next week again I'll sort of push everyone back here, but that's what it is. Who would you like to receive a letter, birthday letter from for your 100th birthday, living or dead? Don't say giveaway, be a subscriber, be over 18 or have parental permission. Thank you guys. Like I honestly did not expect this to happen so soon. You have made my week and it's been a long one. Not a bad one necessarily. Super busy at work. I don't know what is happening. So I'm just finishing work every day completely exhausted. Um... My daughter performed before the NRL game on Thursday night. I will insert a photo here. This is a photo I took before the game. Um, obviously, I've got photos, I've got videos, but I don't have parental consent to share other children's photos. So she's just too darling. Love it a bit. She's growing up too quickly. Um, Friday, I was planning on getting an early night because I knew how tired I was. Yeah, the universe had other plans. So my auntie's car broke down through different series of events. It ended up being 3 a.m. before I got to bed. So I was pretty tired. Uh, Saturday, I had two stitchy dates. I had one with a good friend, Chloe, who I met through the Canberra Cross Stitching community because she couldn't go to 
the Canberra Cross Stitching community stitch in. So I had my own little stitch in with Chloe and then I had a stitch in with the rest of the ladies and I planned to make my video when I got home. I sat down on my bed, was checking Facebook and I crashed. Fell asleep. So that didn't happen. And today again, after grocery shopping, after I went to mass, fell asleep. So it's seven o'clock, but I think you've come to expect that of me recently. Late videos, late time, not great light. I'm still putting videos up, so I consider that a win. Um, some stitchy awesomeness. I did get some grime guards from one of the ladies, Donna. Uh, she, well, we were talking about them because who doesn't talk about grime guards? And I said I was concerned about how to order grime guards because I've got so many super size max colors and that's that's a lot of fabric, especially on 18 count. So she made me two super duper extra wide and I love them. So even though I love purple, I also sort of love not plain things, but like all my cross stitching stuff is black. So I requested black and white fabric and absolutely love it. I'm when I get a chance going to hopefully pretend to stitch a super size and make sure they fit. I could wear them as scarves if not, so win win. But yes, so I'm super excited for those because as I stitch out of the house mostly, I was concerned about my super sizes getting dirty because it's life. I think. I only have sort of one last thing that I want to share. Sorry for rushing through this. Um, as I said, it's seven o'clock. I've locked my husband out of the room, so <laughs> I'm sure he would like to access the bedroom and I'm sure dinner will probably not be too far away. Um, I'm asking for your advice with this one. As you would know, if you follow me, I've been doing the Connie G sale. Now, this next one has been released. I haven't stitched it yet for two reasons. One, because I've been working on the giveaway. Another is I've been seeing whip updates from other people who are stitching it. And I think I'm stitching it wrong. So I was keeping the thread... Oh, let's see if you can try and... This way. So I don't know if you can see, I'll pull the light down a little bit, um, I wouldn't stitch each hole if that was the entire length, I sort of kept it and I just, I don't know if that's the best idea anymore with this one, it sort of was a bit funny because they were quite long but this one it's sort of the entire, and I just, I don't know if... Sorry, artificial lighting. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Like, they say there's no right and wrong, but it kind of feels wrong. Um, so I do want to do it again and stitch, I guess, through each hole that it passes. But what I'm asking you, should I continue with this the way I'm doing it and then do a separate one and I can do different colours so it's not same same if they both work out or should I unpick this and start it again I really I have no idea normally when I pose a question I've sort of got one that I'm leaning towards and you know so looking for verification but I have no idea what to do in this instance so um have I yeah I just I love it like I really do I'm just concerned because it is a two year project, is it going to sort of pull and look bad by the end of it? And show you backside, it's pretty hard again. I didn't have a lot to stitch under, especially with the last one, because there are a lot of long threads. So that's also, it's not maintaining its tension because I didn't really know how to tighten it off. Looking at it now, I should have threaded it under the border but 
you live and learn. I'll do that for the next one if I continue with this. So yeah, let me know what you think about this one. I love it. I love the colours, but I'm just hesitant about the longevity with the way I'm stitching it. Yes. I think that's it. Pretty sure. I don't feel like I got anything done this week. It was just, even when I was at dancing, I didn't do a lot of stitching because I was just brain dead and the mums were talking to me and I couldn't actually concentrate while talking this time because just, I didn't, brain cells not enough. So, <laughs> but I got something done and I am super excited to be able to hopefully make someone happy. Again, if the winner does not like my chart, more than happy to talk talk with you and see what you want to do. But I think I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Thank you for everything. Looking forward to hearing your advice on the Connie G and also looking forward to seeing who you want to write you that letter. Until next week, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.